Today's project on this beautiful summer-like day in April is to start removing the rub rail. As I mentioned before, there is some water intrusion in that back corner. So I'm going to start with that at least, which means I'm going to start with re removing the stainless steel outer rub rail. Just a bunch of Phillips head screws. So I get that off and then I can get to the actual rubber rub rail that's underneath there, which will expose the deck to haul joint. Anyway, so you can see what I've done taking that rub rail off. I don't see any big spots. There's one little one underneath here, but given the fact that this overlaps, that shouldn't be an issue. What I did find down in the engine room, there's blocks behind the hull for the mounting screws to go through and catch, but there's a couple that those blocks are out of kilter when they built the boat. And so some of those screws are just coming straight through. So um, from the factory, they only put silicone on the screws where they were pushing them through so i am going to use sikaflex which in my opinion is a much superior product and uh put the rub rail back on i got everything cleaned up nicely with uh, acetone and so i'll just <coughs> screw it back in and then put the actual stainless piece back on after i clean it up nicely too should be good to go Yeah, so she's all back together and looking good. Now, I'm happy I did the job. Um, it was a bit of work. <laughs> that was, that represented four hours of my labor. And I'm glad that I did it simply because the unknown as to what was happening behind there, I was actually expecting a big void uh, between the deck and hull fitting joint there. Um, but happily, none exists or at least none exists in this area. So I'm really hopeful that it was just a couple of those screws that were, that the water was getting by on the rainy days. And hopefully what I did there uh, satisfied and fixed that. Yeah, so for me, silicone, and I've said this in the past, has very little place on a boat, especially when it comes to trying to attach something to fiberglass. Um, whatever it is that you're gonna attach or try to seal is usually, especially in this case, um, there is uh, a difference of expansion and contraction rates and the silicone doesn't really really stick too well so I'm happy that I have <laughs> uh, abundance of Sikaflex and uh, that's what I did that's what I used and filled all the holes before I even put the screws back in I filled the holes before I put the rub rail back on and then when I set it in place I filled the holes that were in the rub rail before I drove the screws home and so 
if there's any water coming through I've only had myself to blame <laughs> in the future so yeah another job simple straightforward the most time consuming honestly of this job which is what I kind of expected was I showed you these the screw heads especially along the side they were just jammed with what I don't know green stuff I'm thinking that this boat at some point had been berthed up against a dock or maybe those stand-up piles that had plastic or something to protect it and that just kind of chewed its way in there so it's very time consuming and laborious to dig it out oh well it's done and I'm happy and the screws are all back in I'm lying to you I've got three more screws to do because I had a couple of extra long screws and I can't remember where they were so I'm just gonna put the uh, just regular I think they're like three quarter one inch um, wood screws stainless steel wood screws so I have some on the boat I just don't feel like doing it now because at the end of the day I'm beat I'm going home to have something to eat and yes I'm gonna have an ice cold Corona so yeah that's it for this one and I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna try and do next I still got a list of jobs but whatever keep an eye on the channel and as always let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one cheers